My name is Jonas Fedner. I work for Music Espanoi, the London office, and um, we're here for the launch of Yaya Yam. My name is Anna Hildur, Hildur Brandsdóttir, and uh, I run the Iceland Music Export office. And uh, Yaya Ya is a collaboration between all the music export offices in the Nordic countries. It basically started with um, us being based here on a permanent basis and recognizing the need for uh, some continuity in showcasing Norwegian artists. And we want to make a, have a Norwegian night, Norwegian club night with uh, Norwegian artists. But then it just made, made sense to, to expand and to become Nordic. What's with the name? It was just we sat in uh, a cafe in London with some marketing people from London and we tried out the most obscure names like, you know, Helvito or something. And then this was one of the names in the pot and we kept talking about the concept and all that. And then I just heard the English people always going like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I thought, it's perfect. You keep on saying, yeah, 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 yeah. So let's go, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's something that seems familiar to the English kind of mind or phonetics or whatever. So that was how it started, and it's something that everybody knows. It's a positive word in, in the Scandinavian languages. So, yes, 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 let's go there. Thanks. Hi, I'm Kira Kira. I've been playing as Kira Kira since the uh, year 2000 or something like that. Yeah. Is this your first time in London? Uh, no, it's actually my very first gig was in London, uh, the ICA in 1999. And, uh, and then I, I played at the Borderline last May with my drummer, Samuel Kosminer. And so it's the third gig, I think. Your music is quite unique. If you were to describe your music in like a few words or just the definition of your music, how would you describe it to people? Um, holy smokes. It's um, definitely eccentric, experimental, but with a pop twist. It's kind of got a little sweet twist, uh, twist, so it's it's um, kind of melodic noise. Give me, uh, can you give me three reasons why people should um, keep an eye on you in the, in the future? You know, sweetheart, I think people should just, you know, have their own reasons. I think that, you know, uh, personally I'm a, I'm a kind of like a treasure digger when it comes to music and I just want to, uh, you know, f feel it here when I discover something, so I'm not going to tell anybody what, <laughs> what to think or what to do. <laughs> what do you think about this? Yeah, do you think this could be a lunch platform for Scandinavian artists in the future? Absolutely, I think it's very well done. I mean, you see this, this crazy crowd, it's like the place is completely packed and with people who are, uh, of course, I mean, they're very interested in, in, in the music, but they're also um, talking about how to get us, the band, into this and that festival, signed with this and that label, and, and so there's a lot of, you know, <laughs> lobbying and talking, and, and but we need that. I mean, it's uh, um, definitely some cozy people out there that, that, that came to see me and, and want to, you know, help and, and make some funky stuff, stuff happen. One final question for the music industry. Are you uh, signed? Um, that's a tricky question because I am, I'm signed in Japan and Iceland, but I'm kind of like just uh, hunting for the for other continents. <laughs> so you are looking? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's um, one good reason for, for doing shows like this. Tak. We are I was the king from uh, Norway. You just just uh, released a single right like just a few days ago yeah. on the 16th. Can you tell me a bit about that and uh, what the future holds for your band? Um, that's um, it's a song from the album which we released in 
yeah, almost a year ago in Norway, and now we're trying to introduce the music to the UK. Um, so that's the first single, and the album is coming out in February. So where are you guys releasing in Europe? Uh, this really, now we're just here in the UK, and uh, the album has been released in the US and Norway and Denmark. So what is the future hope for you guys? What are you guys doing? Are you releasing in February, I guess? Are you guys going on tour? Or? Yeah, we're going to do a week of shows now. And we're then, in England? Yeah. To where, where are you playing in England? Uh, we're Cardiff, Cardiff tomorrow. tomorrow, and then back to London, and then Liverpool, back to London, Brighton, back to London, and uh, Oxford, and then we're going back home. Uh, what do you think about this Yao Yao music thing? Do you think this could be a launch platform for Scandinavian bands? Do you like the concept, this concept of showcasing Scandinavian bands? It could be, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes with uh, like in these things, but there has been a lot of good things going on in Scandinavia lately, and I think that there's been a lot of interesting bands here tonight, and it's always good to to play, have a good night along with other bands. And yeah, so hopefully. Make a difference. Right, I'm gonna end with the question for the music industry. Are you guys signed or are you? Um, we're. Um, I run a label myself, so. Uh, yeah, we're. You're signed. You signed us. Yeah, I, si I signed <laughs> us right away. So, yeah. so you're not looking. Maybe it's because we're like based in Norway, so it's kind of hard for us to to cover everything outside of Norway. So hopefully for the next record, someone else would like to work with us. So you're looking? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Lexington. We're TV off, and we're from Finland. We love that play and this too. Uh, I'm Marco and Sara. Uh, we just uh, finished our first album, the debut album, uh, during the summer, and it's been the package is ready, and now we're in talks with labels about releasing it. Yeah. And we are going to release an EP or a single release, hopefully during the last. Uh, last couple of weeks of the year. How would you guys define your music? Pop. It's pop music. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah. yeah. Pop slash fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sounds, sounds different. Okay, uh, can you give me three reasons why people should keep an eye on you in the future? <laughs> We're fun. <laughs> we play a lot. <laughs> Everything is fun. <laughs> so what's going to happen when the uh, new album comes out? Are you guys going to go to... Or are you guys, uh, is Hopefully this... as much as possible. Yeah. Okay. Is this your first time in London? Um, it's our first time in London, but not our first time in England. Yeah. We did the Greatest Day Festival right. in May. Yeah. You're from Helsinki, right? Yeah. What inspires your music? Give me your inspirations. Life, probably. And of course, Helsinki Candy. sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Fun things, <laughs> colorful things. Or all like you can tell things. all the candy in the hat. You often hear that uh, Finnish people are quite depressed people. Do you agree with that? <laughs> Do we look depressed? That's why, that's why I'm asking. <laughs> yeah, I, well, maybe we... We, we, we have break been, the norm. Yeah, we have been adopted to Finland or something. Okay, okay. No, no, we love <laughs> everything about Finland. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Are you guys signed? Are you guys signed? Negotiation. Yeah. So you are looking? It's on the yeah. table at the moment, yeah. so... So what do you think about this Yao Yao music thing, this kind of Navi and the showcase? Do you we love it. Yeah, we love great. it and all the other bands have been so great and everyone that works here and you guys, everyone has yeah. been just fantastic and everything has been taken care of. We love it. Yeah, the venue is great. Yeah. <laughs> we'll come back whenever. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe next time I won't have a wardrobe, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, party tonight or going home tomorrow? Yeah. Uh, both. Yeah, both, both yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Cool. It was fantastic, it was a blast. I mean, we filled the venue in London and we were competing with uh, three or four other events in London, a apart from all the hundred other gigs that are in London, so I'm happy. I'm smiling. 